to What The Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and as usual, this is your source of behind the curve, pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. You are in the right place if you're trying to be hip because we try to keep up with the trends that the kids are doing these days, and it's genuinely hilarious. On this week's episode, I'll be covering the term bet. You want this smoke. The first term that we will be covering today is bet. So bet is just another way to say sure thing. So if you're like, hey, we going out to lunch today, instead of saying sure thing, you can say bet. Yo, we going to the mall later? I bet. Or if it's just like some kind of confirmation, instead of saying you betcha, you just say bet. If I ever said the word bet when I was growing up, it was like a threat. I bet you won't or put your money where your mouth is kind of thing. When I would say something like, hey guys, on your next quiz, you're gonna get extra credit if you do graphs and they'd be like, I bet. Are you challenging me? I don't lose anything if you do these graphs or if you don't do these graphs, but then I got hit. Lastly is the term, you don't want this smoke. Not wanting smoke means you don't want this challenge. If you say, I want all the smoke, that means you want the challenge. At the end of every school year, I play some Disney trivia cahoots with my students. They're always like, oh my gosh, Miss Bernard, we're gonna beat you, we're gonna beat you. And I'm like, y'all don't want this smoke. Because what they don't know is I play the same one every year and I know all the answers. <laughs> they could give me all the smoke. That'll do it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. I want y'all to use one of our words of the week in a sentence. You could drop them right here in the comments. Stay hit, my friends.